Hello everyone, welcome back again with another video. In the last video, we have seen how we can access any virtual machine from the local by adding that public key on the virtual machine. When we talk about editing any file on the virtual machine, even though using our, even though accessing it through the local machine, so it is little tough to edit file and all using Vim or Nano, maybe any editors on, on that virtual machine. So what is the other options to access those file directly? Like, can we access it from the Visual Studio? Of course we can. VS Code, we can access that all any kind of folder from that virtual machine on the VS Code. So what is procedure for that? So let's do that. Just open a new window of the VS Code. So once we open this VS Code, how we can access that virtual machines any folder so first of all i want to show you that remote extension what what will what would be the remote extension will require so just search remote and you can see here remote sss you can just install any uh, like from the microsoft there are multiple but you can install this one like i have installed this remote sss just install this so once you install we can access that virtual machines any folder so what is the next step so you can see here at the left corner bottom we have this option open a remote window just click on that it will ask to connect to the host so for that so just click on the connect to the host and right now so we will have different already connected the virtual machines here but we have to connect to the new virtual machine because we have created a new VM before some time. So add new host, new SSS host. So what is the procedure then? SSS Ubuntu at the rate IP address. IP address of the virtual machine. Okay, just hit enter. It will ask what kind of folder we are going to use for the uh, private key because we have already added the public key on the virtual machine one so inside this dot sss config so it's ask, just select the appropriate folder slash home slash one slash sss config click on that and you can, you, at the right bottom corner you can see host added now we have to connect it just connect it it will create another window and another one thing here so it's opening the remote is trying to connect to the that virtual machines once we are connected to that virtual machines we can open any kind of folder from that virtual machines i will show you because these things we are going to use heavily in our multi-host deployment course so that's why we are trying to access that any folder from the vs code so that would save a lot of time so for us once we are connected to this machine you can see here sss we are connected to this machine so what is next procedure just click on the open folder before that we can just close this tab and click on open folder okay so right now we can see here slash home slash ubuntu and we have these are the different folders we don't have anything right now but we will clone our repo here and we'll open that repo from here only and once we click okay so we will be connected to that folder home folder you can see on the left side at initial phase it takes little time maybe 5 to 10 seconds not more than that but once it get connected we can see any kind of files here and we can edit even yeah so just before some time we have edited dot sss right uh, inside the dot sss we have authorized keys so this is the key i have added in the virtual machine so from the virtual machine when we logged in into the terminal from the gcp so i have added this key using vim so if you are not familiar with vim so this is another one option but but we have to add that at the first time and we can edit any kind of files from here maybe when we clone our repo we will be heavily using this and whenever we require 
to do any change in any file we can just do it here and run in the terminal here only this is the virtual machine terminal that is connected so in this way we can connect our vs code to the any kind of virtual machines folder and we can just access those folder from the vs code that would be easy to access edit update anything and run commands that's it for this video see you in the next one